I'm hearing noises. Things slamming into other things. Oh. <laughs> I was holding E as if I was lockpicking. Found it. I'm mixing the ingredients now. Any word on that patrol? Just picked up another transmission. They're on the move. Where are they now? They're... Oh no. They're headed straight for you. Oh shit! You might be able to stay past them, but probably Just too you late. and me! Sorry, Laura. Damn. <laughs> it's probably too late. Yeah! They just fucking stormed up here. Where the hell are the rest of their friends? Woo! What's up, buddy? Got a man down. Wow, you moved your head in that position. That was your own fault. Ready to see if the antidote works? I'm not exactly looking forward to it, to be honest. If it does, I'll make my own and meet you at the veil. I'll let you know when I get there. How did you get the resources to make your own? Are you just gonna come over here as well? Cause I took one of the only little supplies around for it. I'm just saying. Alright, at least I can just fast travel back to here. Once we actually finish the suicide mission. Dad every day. For years I was so angry with him. For losing himself in his work. For chasing what I thought were fairy tales, I had no idea. I keep telling myself that I was young, that I couldn't understand, but I still lost him. And now, for some reason, I feel more connected to him than I ever did when he was alive. He never got this far, but I know he's with me. The Divine Source is here, and I'm going to find it. He knew that it could change the way we understand a human soul. That it could change the world. But he's gone now. And I'm the only one left who knows he was right. I wouldn't say that. All of Trinity believes in it. They just, you know, want to take it for themselves. <laughs> so, we're not alone. We're just, um... Oh, I guess technically, yeah, we're still alone. We're, we're not on his... We're not on their side. But we're not the only believers. I, I hope this divine source turns out to be something at least true. <laughs> at least in regards to the lore of this game. It better be something legitimately supernatural. And not just kind of a wild goose chase. If Jacob turns out to just be a guy who's not immortal... Doses. Got to make them count. I'd be glad. Okay, let's see if anything happens to me. We're good. It works. It's working, Nadia. Everything looks normal is the wrong word, but nothing like the last time. Good. I've made my own antidote and enough for Grandpa, if we find him. I'm on my way to meet you now. I expect to find Grandma. Oh. Scarecrows, of course. So there's still, like, creepy fucking things set up and enwrapped and shit, just they're not human bodies. What about this area? It is legitimately a place that you can get lost around. So we saw a lot of... real things here. Just a forest. It was so real. At least in terms of the layout of the land. But the shit that popped up in the land, now that... was spooky. Hello. This is Trinity Gate. It's all wrong. Lost the old man entering the Vale. Lost Fisher. Lost Parker. Just gone. No trace. <sighs> Can't trust the eyes. Seeing things. Corpses. Worse. Things that walk. So huge they hide the stars. <sighs> Can't tell what's real. Not sure there is a real. Is it the eyes? The eyes have to go. My hands are steady now. Billings goes first. Stop! Hold still! Are you ripping out your eyes? Your friend's eyes first? That's kind of mean. Must have walked right past it last time. And I guess I'd go into that little crevice. Bodies, Maybe they're still alive in here. 
Maybe they're still alive and they're crazy, so they start just rush, uh, rushing at us. Half expected him to still be here. When the guilt of working in the gulag became too strong, I would lash out. A stolen screwdriver, misplaced paperwork, futile gestures that would never balance the scales. One day, I was caught taking a stupid risk. Your grandmother, Serafima, she spoke up. Took the blame. They beat her. Mercilessly. But I was saved. When I found a moment to thank her, she spat at my feet. Told me I had risked my life for nothing. Challenged me to do more. You have so much of her in you, Nadia. At first, I thought her cruel. She gave me no credit for my little acts of disobedience. That place, the gulag, it... It crushed hope and ate what little scraps of dignity remained. Every day I did not fight it with my whole heart, she said. I was complicit in atrocity. She demanded my honesty because she knew I was capable. It was the greatest kindness anyone had ever shown me, and I loved her for it. Aww. Well, let's hope that... The grandma is legitimately the witch, and she didn't just, like, murder the shit out of the grandpa. We won't know. Nadia, what do you know about these ruins out here? Even before the witch made her home there, our people avoided the veil. The founders were building a shrine out there, but something happened to them. None of us have been in there in generations. Be careful. Even if your visions weren't real, that place is still deadly. Well, it does look a lot. It does look super rickety. So, what the hell was the walking house that we saw in terms of reality? Was it just something swinging about? It looks like something rolls around on that little wire rope cable thing there. Interesting. Oh, look, wolves. Uh. Just wolves. Damn. Oh, were they the- Oh, I killed them! Oh. Well, hey, you know what? They were hostile to me regardless, right? Nice. Laura has a lot of- uh, A lot of body strength. Gotta give her credit for that. She has both arms and leg days. I'm up on the first of the ruins now. This doesn't look like a shrine. This was something functional. I see ropes and wooden gears. The founders built lifts elsewhere in the valley to move people or supplies between the peaks, but they've all fallen apart now. That has got to be what it is. See if you can make your way up to the top. I'll be right there. I'm in the canyon now. I'll let you know when I've arrived. Okie dokes, Nadia. I'm gonna go mess with ancient technology. Ah! It moves a ladder up and down! Or not ladder, the lifts up and down. But where should I be wanting to go is the question. If I let go, does it rebalance itself? Yes, okay. I know what I have to do. We're gonna bring it all the way down and we have to rush over to the left lift. No, come on! No! Damn it! I almost made it. I almost made it, but I had myself angled wrong for the jump. Damn it! Ah. There must be some way of anchoring the platforms. I don't need to anchor the platforms. I need. To, I just need to jump better. However, I could look around this place a little bit because, to be honest, maybe I should connect them to that post. Yeah, what to what post? Is there a different mechanism that I'm missing out here? There must be some way of anchoring the platforms. Because the only things that are glowing are those. Yeah, I'm just going to keep on trying my strategy. Wait, hold up. It's dark. The others are out there. I can hear them panting. Moment of clarity. But it's slipping. Coming less frequently. We're sick. 
poisoned. Something. Doesn't matter. Forgot why we came here. Forgot where we were before. Barely remember who I am. Someone else here. Walking amongst us as we grovel and weep. A spirit. A goddess. A demon. She is whispering. We listen. Listen. <laughs> I can just imagine this guy just making these little logs here. Connect them to that post. What post are you talking about? Like, am I supposed to... Connect these together? Oh, okay. Alright, I understand. Whoops. This isn't what I needed to do. <laughs> Damn. That won't work. <laughs> this is a uh, interesting predicament. Anyways, all right. So the obvious is what we should be doing: spin the wheel, and then after we get them in a position, connect them to the other rope. And so I have to like position it in a way. Where they're gonna be slightly together. I hope that works. I didn't really check. I think we would make it. Yeah, this is fine. There. Easy peasy, man. Easy peasy. Alright, what am I connecting this one to? Maybe I can connect this to something. Ah, I see what you want me to do. The question is, what am I doing this for? Ah, aha, aha, ha, ha. We lift it up, and then we have to somehow make our way over to the other platforms. But I have to disconnect the rope that's there. Uh, how do I manage that? It just very slowly goes down. I can't shoot out the rope! I can't shoot out the rope! I need to get across somehow. I somehow need to be able to reach that post. And the only way I can see myself being able to reach that post is if I reorganize everything. But... Oh no! 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 Damn it! Okay, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I have to reverse these- this orientation. Can I use this? To go back up? Nope. Well, shoot. Okay, well, you know what? Let me check this before I do the thing. We decided to wait until winter passed. We hid supplies. We made maps. We planned. I got her a work detail indoors. She helped me find ways to slow the grinding gears of the Gulag. If I could disable a hydraulic lift, I could keep a hundred men from one day in the mines. Cut the wiring of a few trucks. There would be no special work projects for another week. I took greater risks, but once I had met your grandmother, I could not return to the sin of ignorance. We knew that the child would complicate our escape, and she hid it as long as she could. And then, without warning, they took her away. Our daughter was given to a nursemaid among the native prisoners, and they dragged Seraphima away to the Vale. I tried to stop them, fighting in the open. I stood in front of the transport truck, prepared to kill to save her. But there were too many of them. I screamed my farewell as they dragged me away. And I don't know if she hurt. Aww. Don't worry, buddy. I just have many predictions for things. All right, so here's what we're thinking. Here's what I'm currently thinking. So we're gonna lift this platform back up. And then while the platform is slowly falling, 
we're gonna try- fuck me, this is annoying. Alright, because I know we have to like somehow manage to get up there. And that means digging around with one of these. I need to be able to adjust the ropes from a distance. Maybe. Perhaps. Can this go all the way up? Eh? Oh, get the fuck out of here! Okay, sorry. Ugh. Look at this shit. I have been trying to get on that fucking rope. Cause I'm sitting here going, okay, this puzzle seems... Like it should be simple, right? Like the easiest fucking part is Put those in, lock them in a position, and then ride the rope up. But for the last ten fucking minutes, the last ten fucking minutes, I have been jumping at this rope, and every time I latched onto it, it automatically rides me down. So I don't know what the fuck is- what is different? What is different? What did I do different to actually attach myself to this thing? Oh my god, this puzzle would have been fucking thousands, thousands of times more easy. If Laura just stopped, like, launching herself down the way. Holy shit. This puzzle gave me way more grief than it should have. Better run. Shut up, Laura. <laughs> this is a super simple puzzle, only ruined by the fact that Laura just says, Eh, I don't really want to ascend this time. Fuck that, I'm gonna go where I want. I've earned this. I have super earned this. What is that going down there? Oh, it's way back up. I see that there's something glowing there. And I guess that is... Probably collectible that will be revealed once we grab everything else. Okay, so what does this one do? Did we just pull the lever? Hey! Ha, <laughs> I was right. Look at that. The witch has kept the lift running all this time. It looks like she even made a few improvements, but... I don't think those ropes will survive many more trips. It only needs to make one. Two. I'd like to come back down. Eventually. <laughs> well, maybe there's a different way down, you know? God, I'm so annoyed about that puzzle. I'm like, I'm like sitting here going, What is wrong with over me? On the platform. Maybe it'll get us moving. Am I really fucking stupid? No. <laughs> Just mechanics, man. Alright, so she wants me to pull the lever. From here. <sighs> Maybe Baba Yaga actually used Last Ride of the Witch House. Oh, that does inspire a lot of faith in me. Anyway, maybe the Trinity Troopers will be just kind of chilling out along the sides, ready to shoot us. I've got an assault rifle ready for that. And a little pistol. Oh, look at the sights! They have little blue lights on them. I didn't notice that beforehand. Your witch is clever. Everything in this veil is arranged to perpetuate the myth of Baba Yaga. And the pollen does the rest. The last time I saw the lift, it looked nothing like this. What did you see? Just as the legend says, a house walking on giant bird legs. But without the pollen, it's just an old contraption. I'm sorry. I was so sure of Grandpa's story. She's Russian, someone who knew the myth well. Nadia, it's possible that your grandfather will know who she is. He was a prisoner in the Gulag, you said. I didn't say that. Not exactly. Grandpa was a guard. My grandmother was the prisoner. She was a brilliant scientist, and they brought her out to the Vale to help study something in the ruins. But then the witch came. Grandpa never forgave himself. Killing the witch won't bring her back, but I understand. Let's just hope we can reach him in time. The real plot just would be if the witch turns out to not be Nadia's grandma. And just some random old kook who's like, Oh, sorry about that. I killed your grandma. Well, it happens. I kill quite a lot of people. I'm kind of fucked up if you haven't noticed. I mean, I made fun of Laura's dead dad right in front of her. Just to get her to go away. How do I know her name is Laura? Well, um, go away. <laughs> I'll kill you like the rest of them. I don't need logic here. Oh, look at this. This is actually a really nice looking building. Nadia, come quick! No. Nadia? How? Oh. 
It's the pollen. Here, let me. Grandpa, can you hear me? I tried. I couldn't save her. I tried. Shh, it's okay now. I'll stay with him, Laura. It's time. You only have one more dose remaining. Make it count. Well, all right. I guess we're heading into the area. See if we can stop the witch. Poor guy. He probably saw something akin to maybe seeing her die. Like we saw our dad kill themselves. <laughs> it's all fucked up. They put me with the other Russian prisoners. I could see the hate in their eyes. And I didn't blame them. To them, I was just another instrument of their humiliation and degradation. I didn't tell them what I tried to do. It could never be enough. When the revolt came, I was ready. The native prisoners, the ones the Gulag recruited from this very village, were kept apart from the Russians. They had known of my resistance, and that kept them from killing me, along with the other guards. I held my daughter, your mother, for the first time as the Gulag burned around us. The people of the village took us both in, and against their own superstition, agreed to help me rescue your grandmother from the veil. From back then or now? Because obviously that didn't really work out all that well. Alright, Nadia and Grandpa, dude. I'm gonna go not get mine fucked because I have. This is it. I have my resistance. Oh, hey, look! A Trinity dude. It's her. Always been her. At the margins, in the dark, always there. She, she is what we came here for. We just didn't know it until now. She is the center of the world. She can make the fog swirl and choke our minds. She can give us clarity. She spoke her name, Baba Yaga, and our wounds healed. With another word, she split us open again. We are nothing, and we are hers. We will do as she commands. We were made for this. Oh boy. Remember how I said oh what has she done to them? That she's probably gonna make them into her guards? Well, here you go. And his eyes are kind of fucked up. I don't know if that's because, hey, let's just throw blood on there or if it's representative of what he was saying beforehand about the eyes. It's the eyes! Hey. Hey! Great. I didn't have a chance to take my dose. Dizzy. No. I need that last antidote. So we're just going to sit here and go crazy for a while, then take the antidote. This is the last of it. Oh, no! Ah, oh, shit. When you are dead, you too shall serve. Great, okay, so we're gonna have to fight the witch now. Don't have our antidote. I could have, like, licked off the ground or something. That wouldn't have been a terrible idea. Woo, this is a god-awful gun. I'm telling you, man, it just does not have any accuracy. Okay. We have to wait until the witch shows her head, or something. Maybe we have to stop the machine? Okay. Aha! I was right! We have to tie her down! Stay down, damn it! Got to get her over the boiler somehow. Oh, I understand. Alright, I understand. We pull her in, and then we have to release the levers. Damn it, you need to keep her away from the road. Which means I have to shoot at her? Okay, alright. No, no, I understand now. I just had to learn all the different mechanics. Ah! 
Stay down! You know you want to! You don't want to give a bullet to your face! Pull the lever! Ha ha! Okay, now I just gotta run around to the other side. I've learned how to defeat you! <laughs> you shouldn't put yourself in a room with a bunch of explosives. Ah, oh, shit, the lever's really far away. No! I fucked up. She was all the way around. At least it refills. Woohoo! Yeah, I'm, I have this all right, but I'm ready for it this time. Nope, stop, stop. You gotta get over it. And then blow up! You're not dead yet? Jesus. Oh, great. You know, I wanted to grab those supplies. Now you've ruined it. You've ruined oh, everything. Come on, Laura, keep it together. Okay, I'm trying to get up onto here. But it won't let me, so am I not supposed to go there? Am I supposed to go to the other side? Oh boy. Laura, you're on fire in the water! I'm diving! We gotta stay safe! What are you fucking saying, lady? <laughs> Did they just send her into the voice booth and said, Alright, just, just say random shit. Oh no, he's running at me with his sword. Hey, he's gone. <laughs> Ooh, thank you, supplies. This isn't real. Keep going, dammit. They didn't mean to have that, I didn't even know I had it picked up. That's spooky. The enemies are gonna come from there. Okay, alright. Well, that's how we can create explosives. We have a little thing over to the left. I actually meant to construct that first. Oh no. Oh god! We've broken reality! <laughs> Damn it, why am I not creating stuff? You're supposed to be able to pick up the can, hold down... Left click and then make an explosive, and it's not making an explosive. So maybe I have to do something else. Come on, Laura! Oh, there's a ladder. I don't have to blow up anything. I just have to climb. Got you. <laughs> I guess that's how come I can't be allowed to create explosives. I don't really need it. Ow, stop shooting me with fire arrows! The fuck? There we go. I'm like, why isn't it letting me place it down? No! Stay down, damn it. Have you ever heard of the rules of three? Hey! Did the rules of three work? No! God damn it, Square Enix! Rules of three, man! You use three explosives as she goes down! I agree. This is going meh. <laughs> What's this over here? Oh, I guess I already picked it up. Where am I heading? There? No, that just goes straight back down. Interesting. What the fuck am I doing up here? Is there another explosive that I'm not saying? Okay, we have a thing way over to the left. Maybe I have to do it again. Whoa! Okay, I'm just in a completely different area. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this. I just went on one zip line, thought it was gonna bring me back to the previous area. Nope! There were two! Very clever. Hey, no! 
damn it! What are you even actually shooting at me? You can't actually find fireballs at me. I mean, maybe she is. What does this button do? Oh ho! Things blocking the way, alright. They keep me safe, and then I take cover. Nope! Keep that head down! Uh oh, people! You have to burst fire your gun so that way you can be more effective with it. Just a hallucination. Shake it off. You know, I'm gonna smack you in the face. Oh, wow, that was actually really easy. I thought I was gonna take a couple hits. Okay, where's the, the lever thing for it? Ah! Damn, it's super far away! You're still not down after four of those? Laura, Laura, can you hear me? Get busy at the moment. Grandpa's awake. He says, he says it's her, Laura. The witch is my grandmother. She's alive. Please, you, you can't. Maybe, maybe we can get through to her. We have to try. <laughs> I'll do what I can, but we have to end this, Nadia. Oh, and there's just a whole new batch of shit. Okay. Also, wow, what a surprise! I totally didn't expect that the grandma would be the witch! I didn't call that the very first part of this whole thing. Not at all. No! Back the hell up! The fire arrows are getting annoying. Stop! You know what? I can shoot arrows back at you. How do you like that? Hold up. I gotta get my ammo. Free ammo is always good for me. No. Stop that. I don't care if you're a crazy old Russian lady. This is illegal. Killing people and enslaving them? Probably not in that order. It's bad. Although... I say that, but she actually said that to us. I'm gonna kill you, and then you're gonna belong to me. Whoa. Oh, shit! Oh, no. Gotta make my way back. I tried to make the jump. The Lord just didn't want to grab onto the ledge. Hey, yay, yay. We still have time to get the water out of my hair. God, this is probably old, like, rusty metal all up in here. We're gonna die from an overdose of really bad chemicals. And not just the hallucinatory types. Okay. You know, sometimes perspective can be a bitch. <laughs> sometimes you make a jump and you're like, I can make it, and then it turns out, nah. At least she's not actually very actively trying to kill me. She could have launched like five fireballs at me. I just want to see what happens if I shoot all the rocks. There we go. That's what I wanted to do in the first place. Woo! Demon dogs or wolves. You should really just like recruit wolves and say, all right, just send them out from over here. Ow! How dare you! How many of them are there? You know, I'm gonna smack you in the face. I just felt the need, man. Just felt a mighty need. 
Anyways, how about this? Ah, that's what the rocks are there for. Slight distraction. Don't worry, you won't die, because that would be really sad and tragic. I know who you are. I can only imagine what you've gone through to stay alive. <laughs> you have no idea. It's over now. You don't have to live like this anymore. Serafima. But you died. They, they, they told me you died. Will she be all right? I don't know. But it won't be easy for any of you. Family never is. Oh, I know. I know. Thank you, Lara, for everything. Is that it? <laughs> okay. We did it. Happy ending. The grandpa's back with the grandma. And now you guys can all have a fa happy reunion. Do you, do you do anything? Are you like a story character who can like give me stuff now? A new gre new gear acquired. The Dream Stinger. Ooh, pollen arrows. Your uh, Dream Stinger bow infuses your poison arrows with hallucinogenic pollen, sowing confusion and terror among your enemies. Okay. I guess that's interesting. Thought I'd give them a little time alone while I look around some more. Well, I actually want to talk to them a little bit. The boilers inside. You should be able to explore without, you know, going mad. This place is incredible. I would have made my home here too. I, I don't think you would. This place is kind of messed up. She lived out here, just miles from us. All this time. You knew, didn't you? God, it all seems so obvious now. <laughs> yeah, it seemed obvious from the get-go. You know, maybe it's because, uh... Around up there. You might still be a little dizzy from the pollen. Oh, don't tell me that. I want to see if I can go find the couple. The grandma and the grandfather. Maybe see if they have any conversations. Maybe she can tell us about things. How she survived all these years. Oh, look at this place. It wasn't even like floating platforms. It was just spinning wooden things. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's interesting how many games are going in this direction with the one segment where, man, shit, everything's just tripping balls. So that way they can do crazy things towards you. Hello, what's going on over there? Well, obviously, I have to connect that to something. The question is, is there, like, loot here? There are a couple of things in this area. We have challenges, a relic, like, a whole bunch of documents remaining, and a whole lot of survival caches. Jesus. Well, as much as I want to go through all of this area, I'm actually going to go to the main story. Okay, let's begin. It's Tuesday, the 25th of July, and I am here with Miss Lara Croft. How are you this afternoon, Miss Croft? Fine, thank you. Miss Croft, there's a bit of a joke about the word fine in psychiatry, that it often stands for feelings inside not expressed. Hmm, I thought jokes were supposed to be funny. It's possible I oversold its value as a joke. However, if we're going to get anything out of our time together, you need to be honest. Now, can you honestly tell me that you feel... fine? No, not for a while. Lara is almost completely closed off. But it's clear that she's in pain. Trinity will undoubtedly want me to use this against her. <laughs> and so Anna just kind of like chips in at the very end of these? Okay, I want to see how Lara ended up dealing with the trauma. Of Yamatai. 
Tell me more about the dreams. Nightmares. And I, I don't remember them, just the feelings that remain. In dreams, the feelings are often more important than the specifics. Tell me about those feelings. I'm on the island and my friends are dying. There's nothing I can do and it's all my fault. Lara, from what you've told me, your friends survived the island because of you. Only a few of them. None of them would have survived if you hadn't been there. It's not your fault. None of them would have been there if it wasn't for me. Of course it's all my fault. Ah. <sighs> Guilt is a common driver in the Croft family. We used it to great effect with her father. Let's see where it takes Lara. Uh, she turns out that Anna just like laid things out just so she could convince me to carry on the hunt for the divine source. I'm gonna be annoyed. Have you reached out to the other survivors since your return? Have you been in touch with your friend Sam? You know I haven't. Even if her doctors let me, she doesn't want to see me. You were very close to her before the island. <sighs> Don't do this. That must be very difficult, to be separated from the people you need the most. When a trauma is shared, the healing process can be accelerated by talking to the people you shared it with. Can we not do the whole patronizing sympathy thing? You know it hurts. I've told you it does. But it's what Sam wants. I have to accept that. I can listen to what you have to say. But you have to open up to someone, Lara. You're not alone, no matter how much you think you are. Perhaps we're pushing her too hard. I'll reach out to her and test the waters. If she's ready to open up to someone, it needs to be me. Uh, that's an interesting way to write things, I suppose. Oh, what happened with Sam after she was used to try and take over all the powers and weapons or weather and shit? Ah, uh, she just secluded herself. She didn't want to talk to Lara. Oh, okay. So, Lara, I want to talk about your father. I understand you've been asking about his research at the university. I just had some questions. There's so much in my head, but I don't have the connections. My father was researching something very similar to what I experienced on the island. I don't think this will help you move on from that trauma. Quite the opposite, in fact. Um, it's been helping. It's, um, it's given me focus. But your father was... How to best put this? Unhinged. Insane. Well, that's what people are saying about me now. Precisely my point, Lara. You can't continue to let your emotions get the better of you. This is a good sign. Lara's getting angry, and when she's angry, she takes action. We should push her even more. Direct her anger in the right way. Trinity believes I'm wasting my time, but if there's anyone who can crack her father's research, it's Lara. Uh, uh, what did I just say? What did I just say? Oh, yeah, no, she just, she's been manipulating you the entire time. She just pushed you to actually go for this. That's the third time you've mentioned Jonah today. You've been spending a great deal of time with him. He's one of the few people who understands what I went through. I worry that only spending time with him might not be healthy for you. Oh, really? Care to explain? He's a reminder of the past. You're going back to the island in your head over and over again. To the exclusion of everything else. Jonah makes me feel like myself, and he doesn't charge an hourly rate. Jonah is becoming a problem. He's a calming influence, and she listens to him. He'll pull her away from her research. Before long, I'll need him out of the picture. Yeah, that didn't really work, although... That does remind me, where the fuck is Jonah at this present moment? He, we just left him behind because of the storm. He's just like, uh, okay, Laura, be careful. Would you say you have control issues, Laura? Doesn't everyone? I mean, no one wants to feel out of control, do they? But not everyone has been through what you have. I had to take control of the situation. 
If I didn't, then we'd all have died on that island. And did you enjoy taking control? You mean killing, don't you? Did I enjoy killing? I did it because I had no choice. Lara is avoiding the tough questions. It's hard to tell if she's merely being stubborn or she's actually frightened of the answers. By the end of this, she may have to face a hard truth about the kind of person she's become. <laughs> okay, hold up. She knows everything about me. She's been planning this since I was a child. How does that relate to me or to Laura being conflicted about killing people? That's, uh, I mean, maybe it's just because that was the last one. And so we're just like, oh, she's been trying to manipulate me the entire time. Well, okay, that's, that's one part. But otherwise, it's just kind of like, mm, no, maybe the tech should have been different there. There we go. I have no idea where I'm going. Eventually, I got to go back down. Ah, boy. I, I mean, I, I, I do agree with Lar. We didn't have a choice. That island was fucking insane, man. Within like 10 minutes of being on that island, we were knocked out. People were trying to kill us inside of a crazy little cave. I remember that. Yeah, we have a map of- Oh, there's so much shit. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I wanna- I wanna move on. Maybe later. Maybe later. Baba Yaga's weapon. It's a scythe, but it's been dressed up to look like a witch's broom. Everything she did served the myth in some way. <laughs> Why can't you just get a real broom, huh? It had to be so- Well, I guess, yeah. So sometimes stab people. You know, one thing we haven't really seen? A lot of the dead bodies for everybody we just killed. Because that was at least like 10 to 15 different Trinity soldiers. Like five different possessed wolves. Jesus. Baba Yaba? Ya Baba Yaga? It's a little bit fucked up. What do we got here? I'm just kind of. I'm trying to find the entrance. And I'm being very stubborn by not looking at my map. I just keep on wandering into more shit around this area, even though it's not exactly what I want. It's just some of what I would like. Is there like a secret path over here? Dive underneath the water? Oh, it's up there. Oh, well, okay. I'm leaving. I'm just- I gotta go. I wonder if you can teach me how she repaired the lift. If we could get more of them working in the valley. You could get a lot done by- I'm gonna look around a little longer. Bringing everybody over here. Some of her things to bring back to the village. Okie dokes. We'll see you soon. Still never found the- the grandpa and grandma. Would have been nice to have heard a little bit more of what they had to say about the whole matter. Especially Baba Yaga. I mean, damn. She missed her daughter and her granddaughter growing up, which means she's been here for like 40 years. Nadia's grandparents, split apart by the Gulag, are reunited. They all have a long and arduous road ahead. Seraphima wore the mask of the witch for so long. I don't know if she will ever be able to fully return to the world. And Yvonne dreamed of killing the witch to get revenge for his lost love, but they were the same woman all along. That wound he nursed for decades won't heal overnight. They're survivors. We all are. But it will be difficult. It will feel impossible some days, I know. At least they'll have a fighting chance now that we know the truth. It may not be enough, but it's a good start. <laughs> that's, that's one way to put it. It'll take them a while, but... Maybe they'll heal. Maybe things will be better in the future. 